this application, there are times when you have to do 2D data, or you may decide that you may need to do 3D collection. We have a, a job here in which we have to do some locating of, of targets in the concrete. When you come here to do a 2D scan, you may find out that there are so many targets, so many things going on, very complex situation here where you're not 100% confident about what is going on in the concrete. So therefore, you may need to do a 3D scan. So an example of that is this. As I highlight collect and press enter in 2D mode, I'm going to do some 2D collection. And as I look at the data, that I have several hyperbolas going on. So many hyperbolas, some of them might be conduits, it might be where mesh is, is interlocking with each other, or other things, but I'm not 100% confident about what's going on. So therefore, I might just say, you know what, I need to do some 3D, because 3D, I can get a better picture of what's going on in the concrete. This was the area in question here. So I'm going to bring out the 3D pad here and place it in a very strategic way so that using this method here, I'm going in a direction and also leaving enough room so that my mini can get beyond the pad here. So now I'm going to change it into 3D mode here from 2D mode by pressing the enter key. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into collect. And I'm going to make sure that the depth and dielectric is OK. So 12 inches should be fine. And the dielectric, I'm going to estimate that to being about 5.5. I go into Collect, and I begin collecting the data. And again, I'm going to start with line 1 here. And so first thing I do is line my lasers up here and here. Press the up arrow for Start Collection, and begin collecting data. and start collecting the 3D here. Finishing line 13 and continuing on with line 14. And after I've completed all the lines, I'm going to do the last line, line number 26. I have finished all the lines, and by looking at the bottom of the screen, I am complete, so I just simply press the exit button. And it's going to ask me if I want to process or cancel. I'm going to go ahead and process it by pressing the up arrow key. And now, as you can see in this picture here, I can really see what's going on in here that I do have mesh, mesh that overlap with each other. I'm able, by using these buttons here, to map it out on the screen, see what's going on. And I might even have some other things that are going on further down, and therefore letting the client know that there are some possible conduits down there, the dimmer. Uh, dimmer images that I see on the screen. And as usual, if you have any other questions, please refer to the StructureScan Mini HR Quick Start Guide for more information. Thank you.